Hello, hi. My name is Edda Schwentner. I'm accelerator physicist and I'm leading uh, the project AWAKE here at CERN. AWAKE um, means advanced wake field experiment and we, it's an R&D experiment where we develop a new technology to accelerate particles. The WAKE experiment um, started in 2016 and the first two years then until 2018 was really the proof of concept. So plasma wake field acceleration means that we use one beam to accelerate another beam. So what we managed to show is that indeed you can use the proton beam from the SPS to drive the wake fields in a 10 meter long plasma source and we managed to accelerate electrons already to very high energy there. So we were very happy about that. Now we are moving on to the next phase uh, in the experiment where we want to demonstrate that we can accelerate electrons to high energies and controlling the beam quality. This is very important because this is what we need then really for a real particle physics experiment. So how does it in principle work, plasma wake field acceleration? So you have to imagine you have a lake, which is the plasma, and you have a, a beam, which in the, in the lake here is the boat. So this beam is the proton beam from the CERN SPS. And this uh, proton beam goes through the lake, through plasma, and produces wake fields in the back there. And then we have another beam, which are the surfers, and these are the electrons. They jump on these waves and they are getting accelerated. So now we are starting this new phase. Um, and for this, we built a new plasma source, which is again 10 meter long. And this plasma source now has a density step. What does it mean? We simply have two areas with two different uh, densities. And this allows us to accelerate particles much, much stronger along these 10 meters. As we had to remove our old plasma source and now installing the new one, we had a unique opportunity to use the proton beam to test prototype of a different plasma source. And this different plasma source is based on a different technology and could be a potential candidate then for scalable plasma sources. So having them instead of 10 meter long, even hundreds of meter long, which makes it very interesting then for really particle physics uh, experiments. Because then along these 100 meters, we can accelerate particles to hundreds of GeV of energy to use these electrons then for experiments.